Understanding in the Final Stages, A Guide to Mastery. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting and useful phrase in the English language. In the final stages. This phrase is quite common, but its nuances can sometimes be tricky to grasp, especially for those learning English. By the end of this video, you'll understand what this phrase means, how to use it correctly, and see it in action through examples. So, let's dive in. In the final stages, refers to being at or near the end of a process, project, or period of time. It signifies that most of the work or development has been completed, and only a small portion remains before the conclusion. This phrase is versatile and can be used in various contexts, from academic and professional projects to personal journeys and events. Understanding how to use in the final stages in a sentence is crucial for applying it correctly. Let's look at some examples. The construction project is in the final stages and the building is expected to open next month. Our team is in the final stages of testing the new software update. She is in the final stages of her pregnancy and could give birth any day now. In each of these examples, the phrase in the final stages highlights that the subject is nearing completion. Expanding your vocabulary with synonyms and related phrases can help you express the same idea in different ways. Some synonyms for in the final stages include nearing completion, almost finished, in the home stretch, on the verge of finishing. Using these synonyms can add variety to your speech or writing and help you communicate more precisely. When learning to use, in the final stages, be mindful of these common mistakes. Confusing it with, at the final stage, which implies being at the very end, while, in the final stages, suggests being in the process of concluding. Overusing the phrase for situations that are not near their end, which can lead to confusion. Understanding these nuances will help you use, in the final stages, accurately and effectively. Congratulations! You now have a solid understanding of the phrase, in the final stages, and how to use it in your English communications. Whether you're talking about projects, events, or personal experiences, this phrase can help you describe situations that are nearing their conclusion. Keep practicing, and don't hesitate to experiment with the synonyms and related phrases we've discussed. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful. Until next time, keep learning and keep growing.